was said to be descendant from the house of David and thus hailed as the Lion of Judah. His name was Haile Selassie, and in the turmoil of the last century, he would lead Ethiopia from the shadows of history into the glare of world politics. It started in a place where old world traditions were a centuries-long way of life, but this visionary leader saw the need for change. He was definitely a man who was ahead of his time. Decades later, his words preserved the hope of many third world nations. Now it can be told. The true story of an emperor who forged a nation out of an international tug of war. I just let it was a man who believed uh, in his destiny. As seen through the eyes and words of a prince in search of his heritage. And I feel very much that the emperor did not get a fair treatment in terms of whether it be it his accomplishments, his vision, or the role she, he has played. Enduring an endless stream of occupation, by nations vying for the riches of his country's natural resources. He was compelled to make an impassioned speech to the League of Nations. I did not hesitate to declare that I did not wish for war, that it was imposed upon me, and I should struggle solely for the independence and integrity of my people, and that in that struggle I was the defender of the cause of all small states exposed to the greed of a powerful neighbor. The message was, uh, whatever your decisions will be today will be a reflection on you tomorrow. So in a, in a very real sense, he said that once you break the morality that has given them the uh, basis of having created this league, then they will, they will also be victims of uh, this impending threat of fascism. His urgent appeal to the world for the safety of his people was heard by many but acted upon by few. I think the, re the reaction of the rest of the world is that they went around with their business. And if countries like Ethiopia needed to be sacrificed, so be it. But uh, in the final analysis, it came back to haunt them. While the world watched, his primitive army struggled to repulse the overwhelming might of a fascist dictator's mechanized military forces. He foretold World War II in a way, yes. From death and destruction was born a constitution and a nation. And with it, a philosophy so closely tied to this enigmatic leader that millions around the world regard him as deity. Haile Selassie's reign inspired the rebirth of a nation Yet his death remains shrouded in mystery. It is our hope that, uh, that in time, uh, portions of the truth can come to the forefront. Learn what made this man both loved and feared. Selassie, in search of my grandfather's roots.